This is my Logitech G920. It's modified quite a bit. This is a custom hub adapter so I could run this custom wheel, custom handbrake, wiring, custom shifter extender with the stock wall, 3D wraps, cursor, and I made my own cage for it, whatever. There's a lot of talk about the optical sensor for the Logitech G920. So, I figured I would show you guys what it looks like since nobody has taken apart a Logitech G920 on YouTube yet that I know of and shown everybody what the optical sensor looks like and what you can do to clean it so it centers better so it stays center while you're playing games. So here goes. Right here, that is your Hall Effect sensor for your Logitech G920 or G29 if you've got the Sony model. Okay, so you got your two motors. These are your plugs for your motors, blah, blah, blah. There's two screws that hold the circuit board for the Hall Effect sensor in place. Okay, so you just unscrew those two fucking screws right there. Okay, so now that hopefully we've unscrewed those two measly little screws that hold the circuit board for the Hall Effect sensor in place, you can now see the magnet. There's a magnet. That's what the Hall Effect sensor on the circuit board side uses to detect center or something like that. So what I like to do when my wheel is giving me issues is clean that magnet contact and clean the contact on that CPU deal that's soldered to the circuit board on top of the on top of the Hall Effect sensor circuit board and then just screw it back on. It's really simple. It doesn't take a lot of work. I pulled my wheel apart. I re-greased all the bearings and stuff. Re-greased that deal. There's two bearings, one here, one on the other side. You pull this whole assembly off by unscrewing these two screws and four screws underneath the wheelbase, but that's not important right now. Maybe I'll do a video on that later on how to clean your whole Logitech G29 or 920, but right now this is just for the Hall Effect sensor. So remember, clean that magnet, Make sure everything goes back together the way that you took it apart. This white plug will be closest to your electric motor. Just remember that and keep the wires from touching each other and getting tangled up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was informative. Subscribe.